Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of this light, the BLF Q8. Now I got this light at this website, banggood.com. I really like this website because of their low prices. Uh, there will most likely be a substantial sale or discount code by the time I post this. So check the text description box for uh, that discount code. Here is a closer look at the light. As you see, it has four emitters in reflector wells. And it is a soda can configuration of light that takes four 18650 batteries. Now the maximum lumens on this, 5,000 lumens. Right? And they say the runtime for that is 40 minutes. Now it gets really hot, so it's not going to run 40 minutes continuously because of the heat. But 40 minutes is the amount of time that it would take to deplete the batteries in that turbo mode. Now the maximum range on this is 450 meters. That's actually surprisingly long range. You know, you would think that this is just a floodlight, but no. Now this light is controlled by a side switch. To turn it on, you just press that side switch. Now this has ramping, which is gradual increase and decrease in brightness. That's often called stepless brightness. But basically, if you press this down, as you can see, and it'll blink when it gets to uh, its maximum. Right? And to decrease it, just press that. And again, it, it'll blink when it gets to the lowest, right? That's, uh, that's pretty low. Let's ramp it up again. Now, if you want a shortcut to the brightest, double tap. And that is the 5,000. You'll see it better when we go outside. To get to the strobe, you double tap again. Strobe warning. Now when the light is off, if you long press this, you will get to uh, a really low reading mode. Hold on. All right, it's a very low mode, don't worry, not gonna blind you. All right, so long press from off gives you the reading mode. In order to replace the batteries, you just unscrew the body of the light. Well, it takes four 18650 batteries. Right, and you want them all in this configuration. If you put them in reversed, bad things will happen. Now, in order to function in the light, the battery has to have enough protruding has to have enough protruding that it makes contact. These work fine. This is an LG Chem high amp battery. Yeah, the brown wrapped batteries or cells, those are LG Chem batteries, but Banggood actually recommends using the pink wrapped Samsung 18650 cells, which I do own, but I have them in another light, so I use those. You must understand that this requires high amp batteries, such as those. All right, if you're not sure what a high amp battery is, you'll have to view other videos so that you know what that is. Also, in the instructions, it said it's better to use protected batteries, but in the product listing, it said the opposite. It said unprotected. So I believe the protected, I believe that was a typo. Obviously, there are risks involved. Do not use unprotected cells unless you are educated about the possible dangers of lithium ion batteries. Now, this light is actually fully programmable. So if you don't like the gradual ramping of the brightness, you can actually configure this to have distinct brightness levels. Anywhere from one to seven. These are all the different mode sets that you can choose from when you program this light. Now as for how to actually program the light, that's explained in the instructions here, and it's the kind of thing that you have to read a couple times. Yeah, if you're not really good with electronics, just use the default mode, or don't buy the light. If you are really good at electronics, you're gonna love this customizable feature because you can choose from all of those different mode sets. Okay, YouTube, let's roll in some demonstration footage for this light. 
we are going to begin with simple like beam cross sections and beam profiles and then we're going to take it on the road and uh, light up some still scenes, light up the sports field, and then we'll be back for final thoughts on this light. Hey, what's up YouTube? We're out here on the testing board with this BLF light. This is the, uh, the highest brightness level. All right, let's ramp it down and then back up again. And there you go. That is very bright. I mean, that is uh, that's quite good output on this light. Okay, let us demonstrate the strobe. Strobe warning. First we got a double tap for turbo. And another double tap will bring us the strobe. And that is your strobe. Yeah, speaking of brightness, here is another top view of this BLF. <laughs> that is, I mean, that is, uh, that is some bright light there. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm out here on the road testing out this BLF light. You see the, uh, the lit side switch there. Here is a top view of the BLF light on the, uh, on the road. That is impressive. And you see where I am? There's no lights on this road. There's no lights on any of these roads that I go and test on. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm out here with this BLF light overlooking Frog Creek. And wow, this thing is just lighting up the entire scene. You can see every bubble of the water. I'm way up here on the banks of the creek. I'm like on the banks of the creek, looking down. Hitting the treetops. This is a really bright light. Let's try the, uh, the ramping. Oh, there you go. I'm pretty pleased with this BLF light. Okay, let's see if this thing can reach across the soccer field and hit the soccer goal. It can definitely easily reach it. Check that out. I am way back here. All right, YouTube, I have one more job for this, lighting up the strip mall parking lot. That's, that's a strip mall. It's very far away. Look how small it is. And this is without the light. And with the light. There you go. All right, YouTube, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. So pros and cons on this light and final conclusions. It is extremely bright. 5,000 lumens, it looked a little brighter than that to me. It is at least 5,000. The range on this is surprisingly good. Now, as far as the possible drawbacks, well, you know, like any super bright light, it does get hot pretty quickly. And it doesn't come with batteries, so you're going to have to buy your own batteries for it. And it can't use just any batteries. It demands, like, high amp batteries. So you're going to have to know what those are and know about batteries and where to get them. And it doesn't have any recharging features, so you're going to need a smart charger. Okay, so there are some extra costs involved to get this thing up and running. On the plus side though, uh, like I said, they're going to give a huge uh, discount code, so it's, it's not as bad as it seems. And the price, the regular price on this is already fairly low. I mean, compared to the the big, you know, the night cores and the O lights. As for the interface, I like the ramping. It's very easy to figure out. You know, there's no mode cycle to memorize. And then the long press for the low mode and the double tap for 
it's a shortcut to the uh, brightest, that all makes perfect sense. Now, as far as the programmable feature, like, that's really good for people that are really into flashlights and are very savvy with electronics and technology. As far as normal people, they're going to be confused as hell trying to figure out how to program it. But that's okay. Because like I said, the default that this comes with, that's really all you need. You don't have to program it at all. So all it is is an extra. So my final conclusion, uh, not really a light for beginners. Like if you just don't know about batteries and things, then no. But it's a great light for those with a bit of experience with flashlights and who want something that won't break the bank but will still give a lot of performance. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review. Check out the text description box and don't, don't miss that discount. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.